Good morning, modern studders. Our pig harvesting class is fast approaching. And that got me thinking. We have two nice stainless steel tables that are gonna be nice for doing a lot of the stuff. But for cutting, it's gonna dull the knives if we cut on the stainless steel tables. And being up against the wall, it makes for nice workflow, but not for good instructions. A few of the modern steaders made some great comments. And Andy from Han Hewn From sent us a text asking about cutting boards. And we have cutting boards. But then I got thinking. I went, hmm, let me show you what I thought of. I have a bunch of cutting boards in the basement. The ones that I grabbed today, we got one, two, three, four, five cutting boards. Which would be perfect for cutting. But why settle there? Let me show you something else I found. For mahogany, I have one, two, three. I have four two by fours, three shorter uprights, and four of that. And I have some pine. So that got me thinking, why settle for just some cutting boards? Let's make a butcher block. We'll make a nice butcher block island countertop, whatever you'd like to call it. That way we can have Andy and Doug instructing us out in the open, we can move it around. We'll be using this for years and years to come for processing our pigs later on, for processing our chickens. Now we need two pieces, 21 and a 16th long. four legs at 35 inches long. So let's get the two by fours cut down. Now I test fitted all my cuts and made sure everything was gonna fit the way I wanted it to. And it's going to, which is nice. We had some modern setters asking in the comments, how do you use a keyless chuck? And they wanted me to show them. So here we go. You gotta insert your drill bit, your screw bit, whatever you're gonna be using into your chuck. If you, gotta, if you wanna tighten it, you wanna put your drill in the on direction, put your hand on the chuck and just pull the trigger. And that snaps it in place and locks it. When you wanna undo it, you put your drill in reverse, hold the chuck, pull the trigger. 
and it takes it out. So now, know where I want to drill my holes, I'm going to put a piece of my one inch stock that I'm going to be drilling, that I'm going to be screwing to, up against, and I'm just going to trace it with a pencil. That gives me my line, and now I know I want to drill in, in the center here. If I go too far one way or another, I'm going to split the end of my board. I'm using a countersinking bit, that way my, the head of my screw will be inside and it won't be sticking up. I have one hole drilled and I want to check and see how it will fit the screws we'll be using. It's not going to fit that nice. So I'm going to try a different bit and see how this one works. pre-drill all of our holes. This will just help ensure that the side pieces don't split since they're only an inch thick. Now we're going to do this side. Now that it's all screwed up, we can take our clamps off. Just wipe the heavy glue off. Now we have it all test fitted. I need to remove it and drill some holes. So again, we want to glue everything up. We want to clamp it in place, just so that way we don't have to worry about it moving on us. It makes it a lot easier. Now being a hardwood, we want to pre-drill again.
can remove the clamps. We're gonna do this to all the other three legs. are installed and they're not sitting flush to the top of the mahogany. You need to make a cleat that will fit in here that's going to come to the same height as all four legs. That's the next step we need to do. I'm going to take my cleat material, put it down in place. screws here so that way I don't go through the mahogany. That's where we're going to have to leave it today. We're running out of time. But let me just go over quickly what we've done so far. We got the top all built and secured, glued together. We got the four legs on and screwed and glued. We got our cleats that's going to hold a solid board. And then we can put our cutting boards on top of that. So tomorrow we're going to be putting in some braces along the legs. It'll kind of be like that shelf, but there won't be a shelf they will be bracing on the lower legs. Then we'll put in the wood cutting boards, sand them up, and oil them up, and it'll be ready to go. I'm looking forward to having this Butcher Block Island built. This is going to be great. We're going to be able to use it for years and years to come. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. I wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. We are working on our t-shirts. We've had one sample sent up. We need to make a few more tweaks to it. And then we'll be placing our orders, so keep your eyes open for that. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.